Hey guys, I'm Brendan Riley, and uh, we're working on chapter six, which is violence. Uh, really quick, the definition of violence uh, in the textbook uh, is the use of excessive physical force, which causes or has obvious potential to cause harm or destruction. So our scenario is we're an athletic director at a high school, um, the number one ranked football team in our conference, that's us, uh, and we're playing our in-state rivals, the number two ranked team, pretty much in uh, recent past, there's been a lot of violence uh, on the field and in and in the stands between fans. So uh, we've been tasked with coming up with measures in order to prevent this and to make sure that the game goes uh, as smoothly as possible. Hey, my name is Guillermo de Quella, and as an athletic director, we have decided um, on some key measures that to prevent violence at our game. One of the key measures is selecting a neutral site in which the game will be held. The neutral site will provide a neutral territory where neither fan base feels overwhelmed. Okay, so this is the field that I think we um, should play the game at. It's the most neutral. It's about an hour away from each team and there's no bias parts of it of any sort and the fans <laughs> never have to interact at all. So, are you okay with this? Is this finally good for you? No, it's good with me. I think uh, I think the fans will have a good, a good, a good experience here. I don't think there'll be anything out of the ordinary. Hopefully, we get the, the right security from, from you guys, and then and then hopefully my, my players my players won't get beat up after the game. Maybe that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. Does that sound good? I, I, worry about winning the game. How about that one? Okay. You, know, you, you lose every season. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> good luck. As the athletic director, we've talked to the referees for the game and we've briefed them on the history between the two teams and they're uh, on board. Uh, we're gonna be having a short leash with the players as far as on the field issues. start issues or if uh, anything bad happens on the field like a fight there will be suspensions handed down personal foul on the defense the player is ejected from the game another key measure that we feel is really important is extra security at the game uh, since the game is being played at a neutral site we'll need to hire uh, a, a neutral uh, firm in order to provide security for us um, event staff will be located throughout the stadium um, at each section, making sure that, that their section is, uh, is behaving uh, accordingly and, and nothing's getting out of hand. Uh, there's normally a single police officer or two at each um, high school game, but for this specific occasion, we're gonna ask the, the local police department to supply uh, more officers just to make sure that everyone um, is on their best behavior. Another thing, finally, for security is uh, entering the stadium. We're going to have metal detectors um, and police escorts for the teams uh, coming to and from the stadium. That way, fans won't have interaction with them, uh, as well as a cop on each sideline, uh, like they do in college football games, to maintain uh, that everyone is doing what they're supposed to do on the field and fans aren't um, throwing objects or harming anyone on the field. Next up. You got anything metal in your pockets? No. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're going back. You're good. You're good. Next. You got something in your pocket there, sir? No. No. Can you take whatever's in your pocket out? <laughs> sir, you gotta come with me. No, I, I didn't <laughs> got anything on me. Separation of fans is another key measure that we thought of in order to further avoid violence at our game. We believe that every fan base is going to have their own ideals and, and their own cheers and that will create violence at the game. And if we have a neutral site with enough seating where one side of the field will be for one team and the other will be for the other, 
um, we can prevent violence entirely at the game. Hey, you terrible! Yo, your player is We will have a zero tolerance policy at our game. We will have extra security at our game uh, all across the venue um, looking for fans that are acting inappropriately and escorting them out of the venue. Um, by inappropriately, we mean a showing of any disrespect towards players and or fans and also inappropriately um, by not following any guidelines we state before the game starts. Hey, you guys suck! <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> Series 5 to base. We got a fan here in section 10. We're gonna, we're gonna be escorting We're gonna have to actually leave. You gotta go, man. Yeah, you, you're being a little belligerent. Have you had any language? Drink? I didn't do anything. Come on, come on. You gotta come have you had us. anything to drink? So the final conclusion that we came up with um, for our video is um, the game is privileged. Basically that means that if a student was suspended or they've been thrown out of a game before, then they are not allowed to show up to the game. Um, the coaches have to be on their best behavior and so do the spectators. And if there is any misconduct, um, their privilege is taken and they will be thrown out. Wait, 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 I know you. You know this Not guy? Me. He was suspended. He's yeah. suspended? For, for what? That wasn't me. He was suspended and he doesn't go to class. Yeah, he was suspended because he beat somebody up last year. That wasn't right. me. You got yeah, the wrong guy. You got yeah. the wrong guy. The that wasn't me. me. I bought that ticket. I don't want to go to this game. I bought that ticket. All right, hey guys, we're group three. By now, you've seen us uh, act out all of our measures that we're going to take um, in order to uh, keep the game safe for everybody, players and fans included. So like we talked about, coming to a, a neutral site, uh, we feel like as an athletic director, that kind of um, takes a lot of the responsibility that you have and uh, kind of puts it in the best place as far as keeping everybody safe. Um, one team isn't at, at home where they feel they have the advantage, so uh, both teams are kind of on a level playing field here. And then the separation of fans, keep, keeping them in separate areas, uh, I think that'll uh, do away with a lot of the animosity between the two groups. Another measure that we spoke about was extra security at games. Uh, we believe that extra security and that extra manpower could stop a lot of the potential violence that could occur. Also, um, a zero tolerance policy when it comes to security. Um, we do not want to give out a hundred warnings. And so anybody that acts up and acts uh, foolish during the game um, will be escorted out of the game immediately. So a few other things, um, the zero tolerance policy for the referees, basically all the players know and everybody else that if you don't act the right way then you're going to get thrown out of the game so nobody wants to act up. Lastly is privilege. Um, I know for me going to my high school football games was an honor and like you get to meet new friends and you get closer to people so Basically, if you are privileged to go to the game, uh, make the most of it. All right, guys, that's it for us. This is Chapter 6, Violence in Sports and Society. Uh, and these are the measures that we think, uh, as an athletic director, we should take in order to keep the game safe for everybody. And no one was heard filming this video. Uh, we're signing off.